Hey what's going on guys, in today's video we'll be going over the current shotgun meta. The issue with the current shotgun meta is that the that all the shotguns seem relatively inconsistent. The tac in the stats that you can see the tactical shotgun seems to be a very it seems to be very powerful having it some two point oh multiplier headshot multiplier not being beaten out by any of the current shotguns in the game. That's just a combat shotgun at the moment because they've altered the pumps due to twenty six percent of deaths being from this issue. We also have had the heavy shotgun um potentially returning as it's been seen in the um, in the loading screen of season 9. In addition, we have also seen um, the potential I idea of the combat shotgun getting um, upgraded. The reason why we might see this is because it's it, it, see, it, see, in general, it has better stats than basically every single thing that the TAC has, including range, power, and basically everything. It, it's supposed to hit for harder. The only thing that it has that's worse than the TAC is actually the damage. I mean, the uh, the headshot multiplier is meant to have a way hot, a way weaker headshot multiplier. The headshot multiplier is weaker, but this doesn't really affect the gun in general. The gun seems, with its really high, with its really long distance, shouldn't really be affected by this. The only issue with having that really long distance is that is that when are you even going to use it? You you get that distance, but I hardly ever use the long distance of the combat shotgun. In addition, the combat shotgun seems to be very inconsistent. I take maybe a few shots with the combat, and I think maybe I hit like three to four of those shots. And whenever I do hit those shots, they most of them seem to miss anyway. And I can actually actually in fact poach and a few other youtubers and streamers have gone and done tests on it and found out in fact that the shotgun is really inconsistent and half the time you're you're whenever even if you're full um you're full crosshairs on the person you and you hit them it doesn't even matter in fact, I believe someone went in into a in had slowed down one of their gameplay, is and when it it showed that they their entire crosshair was on the guy, when they slowed it down, but none of the pellets hit because it has such a tight spread. Now in theory, that's the the tighter spread sounds way better, but actually it's not. The reason why a tighter spread is way worse, is because it means it's harder to hit your shots because your all your pellets are going into one type of space. And that's the entire point why everyone ADSs with their tack and with the um and when they had the pump. This is mostly just to get the aim assist though with the tack and to actually hit your shots because it has such a wide range. The the pump we only did it for the a a aim assist if you're a console player. Otherwise it really had no advantages. Another issue with the another issue with the current meta of Fortnite of the shotguns is that you I you have to pick between the tack and the, and the combat the attack yes it is very good however whenever you hit when, whenever you are going for a shot it, you hardly ever even seem to get that full headshot multiplier that you that you're meant to get cuz you most of your pellets miss cuz it has such a large spread anyway the now the issue with that is that when when you have such a large spread, it feels like you can't hit for s some consistent damage. However, in my opinion, it seems way more consistent than the attacks of any of the current, uh, any of the attacks of the, um, of the, of the combat shotgun. However, I would like to also point out the fact that. 
I am going to be making a video on the new tilted towers. I've got a few stats with my friend, which you can actually see in the top left hand corner called Corrupt Gaming. I'm also making an announcement that I joined um I joined Brightcore the other day and I'm going to be li linking their channel description if we've made one down in the below and uh, this entire squad's actually part of Brightcore that you're seeing the gameplay of and uh, I'm just saying it's a very good gameplay make sure you're subscribing Thank you.